Don't yuck my yum. Hey guys, what's up? We are now at Noryangjin Fish Market in Seoul, South Korea. Um, to give you a context of how big that was, it was literally a size of a child. So we are about to go eat now. We're currently going upstairs to sit down and enjoy our food. What most people do is they bring their fish that they've chose and clean it and gut it and we, you go to a restaurant and you pay five, six dollars and they give you banchans and side dishes and uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do. And I'm so excited. Okay, let's go. So this is commonly called a sea squirt. It has the name because when you cut it open, it squirts out water. It commonly reside on like the pier docks or ships or um, large seashells, on the backs of large crabs also. And some species live individually, but they sometimes live in colonies apparently, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna give it a try. Um, I'm gonna try it just as is, just to give you guys a better description of what it tastes like. The first flavor that I get is like a very clean brininess and it has that oceany taste. It's surprisingly soft. You would think that it would be really chewy, but it's very soft and it has a it has this like almost um, texture almost like uni, but it has more of a bite. I actually haven't tried a sea squirt in a few years, so this is actually really good. I used to hate it when I was younger, but this is honestly so so delicious. And this is a sea cucumber. I'm gonna taste it without the sauce again, just to give you guys a good description. Okay. First thing, it's more of a textural thing. It also is briny, it also has that oceany taste. But it's not as sweet as the mungay or the sea squirtle that I tried earlier. Now, um, yeah, it's just like, it's a really interesting texture. I want to say it's almost crunchy, but it has the bite to it also. And sea cucumbers, you, you mainly find them on the sea floor worldwide. So it's not a Korean varietal. You can find it anywhere. Um, I've um, but yeah, they, I, I personally like it a lot, um, so give it a try. So I just got the steamed crab also. Um, this is the crab that we picked out earlier. So this is the roll. I'm so excited. Holy shit. So good. It's like buttery. It's like so sweet and like it falls apart. And it's so good. Oh my god. So this is sekoshi, which is a baby flounder. So this is in season during the spring. One thing that's interesting about this fish is that you eat it with the bones. Because these are babies, um, the bones are easily chewable and they won't hurt you. So um I'm gonna give it a try. I'm gonna try it with some chojang, which is uh, gochujang, some vinegar, some honey, and some soy sauce. So, oh, oh my god, look how beautiful that looks. Okay. Mm. Crunchy, and it's sweet, like the flesh is very sweet. Another thing that is in season right now is chukumi. So this is chukumi and it is in season during the spring and 
Um, for those of you who watch my TikToks, I made a chukumi mozzarella stir fry. We're gonna eat it with some hot pot, and I'm really excited. Oh god, I feel really bad. You know what? I'm gonna cut the head off before I put it in because that's more humane. Thank <laughs> you. 